the topic of this video is comparing the processes finding domain versus finding vertical asymptotes of a rational function. Let's begin with finding the domain of a rational function. Since there are no even radicals or logs, simply set the denominator equal to zero and solve. Any solution is a bad number and it must be removed from the domain. Now, finding vertical asymptotes of a rational function. Since there are no even radicals or logs, simply factor the numerator and denominator and reduce to lowest terms. There will be a vertical asymptote at each value of x where the reduced denominator polynomial equals zero. These two processes are very similar and easily confused with one another. So it is important to take time to compare these two different processes to find what is the same and what is different. So it's time for you to take some actions. I want you to pause this video and make a list of the similarities and differences between these two functions. After you've completed your list, unpause this video and the solutions will be revealed. All right, so here are the similarities and differences. Similarities first. Both processes involve setting a denominator to zero. Both processes do not involve even radicals or logs. Now to the differences. For domain, it is the original denominator that is set to zero, but for vertical asymptotes, it is the reduced denominator that is set equal to zero. Next comparison. For domain, solutions are bad numbers to be removed from the domain. For vertical asymptotes, solutions are the equations of the vertical asymptotes themselves. And finally, a third difference. For domain, we ignore the numerator, but for vertical asymptotes, we consider the numerator as part of the process. 